Hi everybody, it's Goody Parade and look what I found. It is a Monster High Claudine Wolf Beast Pet Salon. I am so excited to have found this. Look, it has an adorable Claudine doll, a pet of hers that I do believe is some sort of dog, of course, because she's a wolf. And then there's a cute little setup here with all kinds of fun little accessories to play with and beauty up your beast pet there. So I'm loving the box. Super cute. Clear on the top to see all those goodies. Of course, we've got purple accents because it's Claudine. So we've got doggy bone brushes, bubbles. Oh, and a cute picture of her and her little beastie. At least her beastie pet. There's another cute little picture of Claudine. Monster High. And on this side, Monster High. Okay, and on the back is a gorgeous picture of her standing next to all this cool stuff. Look, there's this cool little table and a bath and a leash and a chair and all kinds of fun stuff. I just cannot wait to get it out. Let's see, what does it say here? Every monster knows that a pet is a beast friend for on life. No matter how much love and attention a ghoul gives her fave animal, she gets much more in return. Oh, okay, there's her whole how she boos info. If you care to pause and read that, I don't know. I'm just dying to get this open. So that's what I'm going to do. A picture of this cute little background first and it's very basic it's kind of a tile floor striped walls a little beauty uh, area there with a brush and scissors and this could be for just dolls but there's a little pet paw print up there that's gonna give us our clue okay here she is it's Miss Claudine ooh I can just tell you right now I am loving her hair. It is so silky. Look, it's kind of in her face. Oh, she's so pretty, pretty, pretty. Very, very silky hair. Long brown. And then it looks like underneath, we've just got a streak of purple there. Just a little bit. So if you put her hair in a ponytail, you'll get to really see it. Oh, I just love the texture though, really soft and silky. And her little ears, no earrings, very simple. She does have a nice little necklace here and it's chain with a little doggy bone on the front, which is cute. She's got a very tight form fitting dress on with little animal prints all over it. I'm guessing they're doggy prints, but you never know. And of course we've got Velcro down the back. She's not articulated at the wrists or elbows, but she is at the knee. And the, you know, she's got furry ankles and furry wrists now. And she has some amazing purple pumps. We've seen these for Claudine before, uh, but we have not seen them in purple. So that's kind of cool. I think they might be a little bit different. It looks like they have like fur around them and they have scratches in the platform part. I can't, I don't remember seeing that in the other one, but you guys can tell me, did the first round of this model shoe look exactly like this? It's just different color or not. Okay. You guys let me know. All right, Claudine, let's see all your goodies that came with your set. Uh, so you can play in it. Um, okay. This is an exact, uh, mold of a toy we've already seen when we saw the coffin bean set, which incidentally also came with a Claudine doll, which is kind of funny. This is much more colorful though, with this bright hot pink, ooh, look, hot pink spider web action <laughs> and purple. And so on the front, you can see a little cash register. I love the cash register opens like a mouth where the money is. <laughs> you can get an eyeball for your pet and all kinds of other goodies, a ball, a bone, all kinds of cute stuff up here. Instead of coffin bean, it has a bone. And then in the shelves, you can see all kinds of other goodies too and supplies. 
And then what I liked about this set uh, with the coffin bean, and this is exactly the same, is this little card is interchangeable. You just snap off these spider web thingies carefully because they can break, I know from experience. And you can switch the card around so you have it on this side. And then you just have to line up the little holes and pop them back in. Alright, and there you have it. Even though this is a recycled piece, meaning we've seen it before, just different colors, I actually really like it because I love the colors. It it looks and feels totally different and it is really handy for storing all of your amazing doll accessories. Okay, what's also cool is it has this little add-on piece, see the spider web on it and a little tabletop and it simply slides into this little notch right there. You just go bam and then ta-da, you have a little, little area there. So. Claudine at the shop can just stand here. Hello, may I help you? Uh-huh, what kind of animal? Oh, a chinchilla? Sure, we love chinchillas here. So, let's see what the other accessories are before we get playing. <laughs> Another recycled piece! What a shocker! Cute little skullettes in the side there, though. And this green chartreuse coffin-shaped tabletop. And then this thing. Okay, I remember this from the science set. And then this, was this the diner? It came with the diner and then the creepateria. I don't know. You guys tell me. You tell me all the recycling knowledge that you know. Still super happy to have all those pieces, especially in extra colors. Okay, we've got an adorable doggy bathtub. It's gray. It's got drippies. It's got bubbles. It's got claw feet. Of course it does. And then it has a little area for your doggy to walk in. Well, we better get look at her pet already. Oh, it is beautiful. It is a purple wolfish looking dog, which makes sense. It has a pink little nose. It is very cute and precious. You know, one thing I did want to bring up, um, I'm going to put up my other, I have two other beast pet videos. What was there? Cleo, Laguna, Frankie, and Draculaura. And the Cleo and Laguna had really cutesy tootsy pets. That was a, a turtle and a cat. And then Frankie and Draculaura had kind of these creepy-ish pets. This Frankenstein teddy bear and this bat poodle, which I thought were kind of different from this looking kind of pet, which I thought was weird, but I, I love it. I actually, these are my two favorite of all the pets, um, but I thought that was interesting. Did anybody else notice that? These look more kind of pet shoppy, cutesy tootsy, but they are really cute. And I also like the size of this, just that it's a nice big animal, especially in proportion to your Monster High doll. I think that's a real nice size, actually. Let's see if she can hold her little coyote pup here very well or wolf or whatever it is. All right. All right, I wanna see it in the bathtub. So it just walks in and shwack. Oh, and it's in the bathtub at the spa. That is really cute. Okay, it did come with several little accessories. So let's have a look at those. <laughs> of course it came with a little jacket, little wrap outfit thing. It's cute. It has an area for a tail and a neck. I'm guessing. Let's see if we can get this on. It looks like it just kind of snaps around the tail base. And then goes around the neck. Snappity snap snap. Oh, that's cute. It looks like a little bow in the front. And it is very form-fitting. <laughs> that is really cute. You gotta admit, that's cute. Oh, all right, we've got a bottle of soap. Pump, pump, pump. And a little doggy dish with some bones on it. That's cute. You can use that for all kinds of toys. And, oh, it's a little purse, I'm guessing, for Claudine with a little dog print on it. Maybe to hold all of her supplies, her little, 
her little doggy treats when she's out and about. Mm-hmm, looking fabulous. And, oh, got to have the brush. The little brush for the dog. Mm-hmm. And, oh, a bone. Cute. Oh, and this is cute, a little kerchief. Let's take this cape thing off, which I love that, though. That is really cute. And let's get this on. That's cute. All right, let's see how the leash works. Oh, it looks, oh, it's neat looking. It's all gold, has a little handle here. Oh, and it's kind of open there. So you just kind of snap it right on the neck. Bam, it's on a leash. Let's see if we can get her to hold it. Let's see if it's really tall enough. You know, sometimes <laughs> these things don't really add up. Oh, but it does. That's just perfect lovely. Choo, 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 choo. Going for a walk. Choo, 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 choo. I like it. This is cute. This is fun. Fun, fun, fun. I like fun. Okay, let's bring in the whole set and set it up. So I love chartreuse, hot pink, super fun colors. I'm noticing even the drawings in the um, store here, or the shop are much more cutesy, bright colory. So let's see in the picture, they've got the bathtub up there. We can put some of our supplies on the shelf here. I'm gonna leave the brush out just in case and the pumpity pump pump. I guess the water dish can go on the ground somewhere. And the bone. And then we can get our little dog in the, I guess I'm gonna go this way, huh? In the little bathtub. Oh, and let's not forget our little stool here. And thankfully, she does have articulated knees. Whoa! So she can sit there, hopefully. That is cute. Oh, it looks like I forgot something. What is this? Milk, maybe? <laughs> it has a skullet and crossbones on it. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. That's a little mysterious and weird. Well, we may as well add Frankie's little bear and Draculaura's little poodle bat to the whole setup here. Okay, everybody, tell me what you think. Do you love this play set? Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for future videos and bye for now.